Assalamu alaikum, brothers, sisters, peace be with you, human beings. As for the beast, keep it back, keep it back. Audu billahi, min al shaitani rajim. Allah protect us from the forces of evil and bless us with the goodness and the kindness and the generosity that he bestows upon those who he favors. Tonight, I just want to briefly uh, comment on awareness and distractions. Yeah, I think that's a good title for this um, for this evening. It's going to be brief. Okay, um, awareness, many levels as we all know. And as we get older, we should become more aware of internal consciousness, emotion, feelings, okay, environmental situation and circumstances, you know. It's a part of growth, development, elevation, education, okay. And in regards to education, we should know without a doubt and keep this in mind that knowledge knowledge is power believe that knowledge is power having a lack of knowledge having little knowledge having no knowledge that's like pure like uh low level thinking or just keeping it real it's like a level of ignorance okay um, brief example okay it's a master trick that politicians and people in power whether they be so called thugs on the street whether they be so called gangsters hoodlums or businessmen or anybody that deals in trickery and deception, okay, um, they want to hold back knowledge and they want to keep you in a state of ignorance because ignorance on some levels is darkness and darkness is, <laughs> you're blind mentally, psychologically, emotionally, and even on level physically. Okay, now what am I leading to? Okay, what is all this about? Okay, analytical thinking again. Listening to the news, okay, over the past few days. And I've been following the Russians for a while, you know. <laughs> I even had a Russian woman want to marry me, <laughs> you know. But they're very strong and very dominant out in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn. They run that now. They control that now. I used to work security and was a site manager out there. So I seen a lot of things. I even became close to a Russian, became my friend. He was a Marine that later became a gangster running stuff out there. You know, and me and him became really very close, you know, on an intellectual level, you know, and we used to play um, chess together and pass in time when I was working. But anyway, getting to the point is that um, he gave me insight to a lot of stuff, seen a lot of stuff. And one thing about the Russians is that they have, um, you know, elevated to a level of, um, they master technology, man, you know. They are too smart. They had to be too dumb to sell drugs, okay? They don't got to smuggle no drugs. They ain't got to sell no drugs. They beyond that, okay? And um, as they are on one level, they're not content. They increase their knowledge, and they move on to other levels, all right? And there's one person in particular who um, I won't mention his name, but the United States government has been watching him for five years. For five years. They have not been able to put a charge on him. 
they wasn't even sure as to how he looked until recently. Um, for five years, they believe that this man has mastered computer uh, capabilities and technology where he has um, been able to rip off over $200 million from banks in New York City and New Jersey alone. And then what he does is he takes the money and puts it to different women and have them take it back to Russia, to Moscow, okay? And before they even do that, he may be on a plane to um, Argentina, Brazil, Bogota, somewhere, you know, in a whole nother continent. So if perchance anybody does get busted and try to flip on him, he's not even in the country. He's not even on the continent, you know, this, and he's young. He's like about 28 years old, and there's a crew of them, okay? And they said that over the past few years, I mean, they have literally stole billions and billions of dollars, okay, from American banks, okay? American banks, not going in there sticking up and doing so, but using technology and having these machines just kick out money, 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 money. And then they strap themselves up, whatever, with babies, and they've been doing this. And the FBI, even the CIA knows about it, okay? But they have not been able to stop it, all right? That's what they do. Now, check this out. Just recently, they said that United States government <laughs> systems have been hacked. Our super sensitive advanced systems have been hacked. What systems are they talking about? They said nuclear warfare missiles, the ability to send Missiles with nuclear warheads has been compromised. They said that information pertaining to the CIA, to um, naval codes, I mean, high-tech information, you know, information about stuff that we're not even supposed to know exists has been hacked. But the thing about it wasn't just one hack that just happened to be, okay, they hacked it one time. We got to clean it up. <laughs> they admitted that our, our, our people under this so-called, um, what's his name <laughs> that's on his way out? Um, Trump, okay? His people admitted that they have been hacking the United States government sensitive materials for the past three years. How long has he been in an office? Almost four. And they've been doing this for three years. And they just now found out about it. And they said that they don't even know how it was done. They just know that it was done and that all this sensitive information has been leaked. They know the cold storm missiles and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if anything happened right now, they would have to shut, I mean, shut everything down. And, I mean, it's like a, a boxer <laughs> going into a ring with no boxing gloves or nothing. You know what I'm saying? We got nothing. Okay, we have it, but the ability to utilize it correctly, somebody else got it. Suppose they hit a button and set off a bomb somewhere and people think that it's us. That could start a World War Three, Four, Five, whatever. Okay, but now it's been stated by the analytical people in charge of these affairs that the Russians have been doing this for years. But what made me <laughs> laugh about this in a way is that Trump came on today and says, no, 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 he thinks it's impossible for his friends or his buddies who he's in good relationship with, the Russians would never do that. They would never do that. And that he's positive that it was done by the Chinese.
Based on what? He said, oh, because the Chinese are the ones that have that type of capability. They so far advanced in, um, in hacking capabilities and computer science abilities that they are capable of doing that. There's only a couple countries in the world that have that advanced technology. China is so far advanced in computer technology beyond the United States that they could do it. But so is Russia. I mean, what is this thing with Trump and Russia? Russia can do no wrong, you know? I mean, I know he wants to build hotels there. And I know he got a thing for Russian women. And, you know, Russians are good people, man. You know, I, like I said, my friend is a Russian, you know? And we play chess, he beats me, I beat him, and, you know, it's all good. You know, they're good people. Even though I don't drink none of that cognac with them and that vodka and stuff, you know, and they respect that. You know, they know I'm Muslim, you know, and they respect me for who I am. And I know they gangsters and I respect them for who they are. You know what I'm saying? But we on a different level, all right? But I'm not distracted, all right? So the distraction is now the Chinese did it. Chinese government was infuriated on the news this evening, saying how dare the United States make accusations and accuse them of, of, of doing such a heinous crime of stealing sensitive material and hacking our, our resources. You know, they says they have no need for it anyway. They so far technically advanced, they don't need that. But for them to be accused of it, Got them infuriated. What proof? Okay. Then man came on the news and said, what proof do you have, Mr. Trump, to even open your mouth and make a suggestion like that? And there was never any truth that was presented. Okay. But now he's putting that propaganda out. Okay. And what does that do? That distracts you from what's really going on. Okay. That's a distraction. And when you get distracted, your knowledge about a particular situation is cut short. Instead of you doing more investigation about well, what's going on with these Russians, you ain't even thinking about them no more. Yep, mm -hmm, it's them Chinese again. Them same ones that made the COVID, vi um, the COVID uh, illness, you know, the virus. You know, they got us with the virus, now they're getting us with our, we're stealing our sensitive information. You know, why are we hating on the Chinese? They was a great civilization for thousands of years. Before America was even thought of, only, I don't even think the natives was here at that time. You know, when they was at their prime 10,000 years ago. You know, but now they're rising back up. You know, and the thing about it is now look at this. The first thing they did when they, they been had the cure for the virus. But who's the first one that they gave the, the, the cure to? Their military. You know, their military. Because they're prepared for any type of bull crap that may jump off. All right. And they know how easy it is for people to be distracted. And when you distract it, your mind is not focused on the reality at hand. Now, let's move it on up today. I was coming from uh, physical therapy, and I had to wait for my cab. And something went down in the store, and a guy smacked a, a, a clerk, but he didn't know that she was somebody or whatever, and she jumped across the counter from what I, you know, picked up with a broomstick and started beating him and ran out the store. He took the stick from her. Then like two or three people ran out the store and they jumped the dude and they started pounding on him and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And um, he was Hispanic and they was black. Then it became a racial thing. Then it was like a big, big riot thing. And there was cops, a whole van of cops with six cops there. They just stood there. They just stood there. Now everybody's distracted about what's going on. And in the meantime, 
the little local people around, they running in the store, grabbing big boxes of stuff, little TV, stereo stuff, they're running out, and now the guy who's the manager, he's in the fight, which he ain't got no business even lowering himself to that position, he's in the fight, and he's not even looking at, they done got the money out the register, they done got like five and six boxes and stuff, now he's telling the police that, they trying to call... People had so much stuff out of this store. It was like an everything store that they were dropping boxes and all kind of stuff in the street and everything, you know? And just as they were doing all that stuff and everything was running crazy and everything, I was so glad that my cab, my, you know, my car service pulled up on the side. And he was nervous to even pull up on the side. Then when he pulled there... It was a lot of snow, and there was a box that was like on the side. He asked me to push the box to the side so he could put, pull in, and I would have to step in all the snow. So I said, no problem, man. Let's just get up on out of here, man, because this is looking crazy now. I mean, it was like about 30, 40 people involved, all right? So when I went to move the box to the side, I said, wait a minute, you know, what the heck is in this box? You know, so I push the box to the side, but I'm feeling that there's something in this box, you know. So I'm looking, I look on it. I don't see no price tags. I see that it's like, you know, like this here. And um, I'm like, what the heck is going on, you know. And um, just so happened, before I get in the cab, I said, let me see what's in here, man. I said, what the heck is that? I said, oh, snap. This brand new stereo set, you know? So I said to the driver, I said, man, listen, I don't know if I should take this or what, man. He was like, man, if you don't take it, so we're going to try to go back in the store and bring it back in the store? He said, is that what you're intending to do? He said, because if you're going to do that, you could just give it to me and I'll throw it in the trunk. You know what I'm saying? He said, I don't know how you're even going to get back in the store to do something like that, you know? He says, um, that's their loss. He said, if you don't want it, just give it to me, you know? So I said, you know what? I says, this is just a gift. This is a gift from me. I mean, this is a gift for me from a higher source, and I'm going to give it to someone else because I don't even... I don't even use stuff like that, you know. I got enough stereo and stuff, equipment up in here, you know. So um, maybe I'll give it to my daughter, somebody, whatever. But the point I'm making is that distraction on that lowest level allowed that person who was in charge and responsible to become a victim, okay, because he was distracted and... When he was distracted, he no longer was thinking with a calm state of mind to have analytical thinking, protect what is his, protect what he's been entrusted to, you know. Don't get involved in that. Let the police handle it, you know. Stop trying to be a thug at 40 years old, <clears throat> running in the street causing a riot, you know. How much money did they lose? A whole lot, i tell you that, a whole lot. <laughs> TVs, bicycles, stereo sets, everything, you know. People in a hospital. For what? You know? For what? Now, some of y'all are thinking, oh, you should, probably shouldn't have took it. You should have just left it there in the street, you know. No, I didn't leave it in the street because somebody was carrying this and another one and it was too much for them to carry and they dropped it in the gutter, okay? And I wasn't going to go in the store. Couldn't go in the store if I wanted to, you know? So I kept it straight up and down. I kept it. But I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to give it away and make somebody happy. That's what I'm going to do. But just think about how people do things to get you distracted from what you should be aware of, okay? What you should be aware of. You distracted right now. 
and thinking that you happy that you're going to get some huh, huh, you're going to get some money okay allegedly what they say everybody's going to get six hundred dollars to help them that's just ordinary people wasn't it twelve hundred it was that before <clears throat> and wasn't it supposed to be that again <laughs> you know so you see how the lies just roll down the mountain. But they had to do something, okay? And it's hurting them to do that. And they don't want to do it, you know? They don't care if you eat. They don't care if you got money to survive. You know how hard it is for some people, man? I be giving food away that I'm able to get through my little sources, you know? And I'm not working, you know? I'm not working. I'm on disability, you know? So it's rough, man. But anyway, enough said. I don't want to end it on a sour note. I want everybody to be safe, okay? Be aware, okay? That's why even when I'm in the street, these headphones, keep one down, okay? Don't have them big speakers and you don't know what the heck is going on. You got these plug-in ones like I got, which I've been blessed to receive as a gift, okay? Keep one down so you can hear what's going on, you know? Don't be a victim of circumstances. Don't be a victim of being the silent majority, okay? Hear what's going on around you. Be aware. Protect yourself at all times, okay? Oh, that's a kick that's up there? Is that my foot? I think so. Yeah, 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 that's my foot. I still got a few good kicks left in me, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Salahuddin. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters. You know, I tried to make this a little humorous tonight. You know, I love Kung Fu. You know, I'm an old man now. But I still got a little something for you whippersnappers, you young ones. <laughs> And you elder ones too. Well, mess with me and see <laughs> what comes out of the bag of tricks, you know. And that's one thing why, you know, your parents, you got children, train them while they're young. Okay, teach them while they're young. All right. My father, oh, I got to put that picture up. My father <laughs> taught me, was training me at three years old before my, th my, was my, what, my third Christmas? Right before my birthday on my third Christmas. Father gave me a pair of boxing gloves. Wanted me to be a boxer first. Then he said, after boxing, then I would learn <laughs> kung fu, no, karate. And then it would be kung fu, leopard, tiger, dragon, snake, crane, crane, mantis, etc., etc., etc. You know, protect yourself, man. Okay, that's the first law of nature. Okay, self protection. <clears throat> Uh, a little thirsty right now, so I'm going to bring this to a close, man. You know, all you human beings, believe it or not, I love you as my brothers and my sisters. And I want us to do the best that we can as human beings collectively, okay? And teach our children or teach the youth to be human beings, okay? And teach our children to be on a straight path. You know, as far as Muslims, teach our children to be Muslims, okay? To be on the Surat al Mustaqim, you know, and not to be acting like savages out here with Muslim names, all right? So take good care of yourself, be good to yourself, and with that, Salaamu Alaikum, and forever. Power to the people.